Good morning, my name is Katiana, cat for short, and I'm allergic to well-yested cats. In this video, I want to try out my five-minute journal. I bought it back in spring, and then it just did not stick with it. But I feel like November is a time for gratitude and peace and thinking of all the good things. So I want to actually challenge myself to really stick to this schedule of that journal for a little bit and see what comes of it if I feel actually more grateful for things if I do it on a regular basis. But yeah, let's see. The next thing I bought is this gratitude journal. It's called the five minute journal. So it's like supposed to take you five minutes in the morning and in the evening to just log things you're grateful for. And I always thought, you know what? Why splurge on this? This is so ridiculous. Um, because I've been wanting to buy this for like two and a half years maybe. Um, I was like, you know what? You can just like write something like that at home. What would you need like an actual journal for? But I never did it consistently because I didn't have like the set system. I would have to write out, I am grateful for X, I am grateful for X um, every day. And it, it took me like one week and then I just fell off the bandwagon again. And then I would start trying it again and just... It, it just never stuck even though I want to do it, but I feel like whenever I have like Something set up like this. I'm so much more likely to actually do it And I'm really really looking forward to this. So yeah, I'm gonna take you on this journey with me I think I'm gonna do a separate video on it um, and just see if it says accountability So yeah, that's that's what I need um, and just see how it goes and what kind of things I write down. I think it's really interesting because sometimes you just don't feel like there is anything to truly be grateful for because nothing really relevant or amazing happened that you will remember for years to come. I would probably write in, like if I would have started this yesterday, but it just came in yesterday, um, that I'm grateful for my boss standing up for me. And that seems like such a small thing, but this rant, this like nine minute rant, really explains how much it actually means to me. So even though I might not remember this for years to come, for yesterday it would have been great to write that down, for example. So yeah, I'm um, looking forward to starting this and I'm just really, really happy about it. And it's just so pretty. And also, um, this is like a green cover version that they usually don't have but they had this um, available for Earth Day, which is the 22nd of April. And um, like the week before and the, I think until today, until today, the 30th of April, um, they are going to donate 20% of the revenue to like a project about sustainability. So this green version is even better. <laughs> This is so great. I've been trying to write daily affirmations in my planner every day, but I usually like backtrack because I don't do it regularly. As you can see here in April, <laughs> it's the 30th today. And um, yeah, you can see I'm like two weeks behind. So yeah, there's that. But now I will get to it because I'll have a reminder right there every day. And I'm really looking forward to doing this. I've literally had this for two days and it's falling apart by the seams. I mean, come on. <laughs> if this was some cheap, like, store-bought random journal, I wouldn't mind. But this cost 30 euros plus shipping. Yeah, no. I requested a refund because that's too much money <laughs> for it to be falling apart after two days of use literally two days not even two days because i haven't even finished today <laughs> so that is what i have for today morning i'm going to try to get back to this in the evening that was mostly my problem and then i have to like kind of backtrack <laughs> So I'm really going to try to figure this out this time. Maybe I have to set myself an alarm or something, but I'm going to try. <laughs> 
I'm running just a little late, but I'm going to quickly do this, get this over with, because otherwise day two will already be a flop and I don't want that. So what am I grateful for? I finished day two yesterday and now we're on to day three. It's actually already past midday, so this is kind of late, but it still counts to me. I'd actually realized that I hadn't written anything down this day, so I did it at work, um, which is why I'm in a completely different setting. But a lot of the other days, I just simply forgot about it until like later in the day and I will just like finish the entire day in one go even though I know it's kind of not the purpose you're supposed to do it in the morning and in the evening but it's just somehow not a habit I can stick to. It's another morning and I'm writing in my journal again and honestly I find it quite hard to consistently write something different because I mean, there are only so many things I'm grateful for on any given day, and I feel like it's kind of the same things over and over. I don't want to get be late for work. I've got another seven minutes. Um, I feel like I'm grateful for my job. I'm grateful for my home. I'm grateful for my partner. I'm grateful for, I don't know, being healthy, but those aren't things that like change every day, so I don't know what to write every day. Like Right now, I... I don't know what to write down and I feel stupid writing the same thing. It makes no sense in my opinion. Otherwise, why am I doing it daily? So uh, I'll have to think about that for a second. I am grateful for. Today should be my, I think, second to last day of this challenge and Somewhat, I'm just feeling unmotivated because it feels forced, it feels like a chore. I don't feel like I just stumble upon three things to just write down. It's just this, <laughs> it's just this chore at the end of the day for me. And I don't think this is something I can like really have as a habit. So the three weeks have passed and <laughs> to me, honestly, this was really challenging, even if it might not seem like that, because I found it extremely hard to force myself to be super duper extra vanilla and just be grateful for everything and anything every single day. I felt like it was kind of lying to myself. like. Today I'm happy for this, today I'm happy for that. Like you can't be happy for something new or three new things every single day. So I felt like I was tr writing down the things I'm grateful for and I just really had to like pick my brain what I was going to write down and it just felt kind of unnecessary and forced. Um, but maybe that's just me, maybe other people are better at just writing down the small things. I think what I've taken from this challenge is that it's nice to do it every once in a while, but it's definitely not a daily thing that I could do. <laughs> so from now on, I think I'm going to do it maybe twice a day, at, not twice a day, goodness, twice a week, um, or at least like once on the weekend so that you kind of like have a roundup of the week. I think that's really nice. And um, personally, that would be something that would add to my life in a positive way and not having this chore type of feel to it. Um, so yeah, that's what I've taken from these three weeks of journaling in my five minute journal. Um, I hope you enjoyed this video. Thank you for watching all the way through and I hope to see you in the next one. Until then, bye. Also, have you seen these? Like they look so stunning. We did these um, like acrylic paintings a little while ago. I actually have a video up on that. I'm going to link it um, up in the card so you can go ahead and watch it. It was really interesting. If you have the chance to do this, definitely go ahead.